guys, it's Miss Sam. How are you? I miss you. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy at home. We had a nice long spring break, but now it's time to get back to some work, right? We're going to do our distance learning now, but we're still going to keep doing speech. We're still going to keep learning those superhero social skills for how to have conversations, how to make friends, and how to interact with people around us, okay? So I want to remind you first, what were those three social skills, superpowers that we've talked about? Uh, you guys are getting really, really good at them. I bet you can remember. The first one is something that we use our ears for. What do we use our ears for? Hmm, you remember? We use our ears to hear. We have to hear the words that other people are saying. We have to hear maybe something that's going on around them. Maybe we could hear them crying or other feelings that they might have, right? We have to use our ears and figure out those clues of how they might be feeling and what they're saying, right? The next superpower we have, we use our eyes for. Hmm, what do we use our eyes for? Remember? We have to use our eyes to see everything that's going on around us. We're not just looking at the person, but we have to look at what their body is doing. What's their body language like? What's going on around them? Are there other people in the, um, in the environment? Are there people maybe teasing them? Are there people trying to play with them? These are so important for us to use as clues so that we know how to interact with other people. And that last superpower we have, we use our heart. We use our heart to, can you remember? Feel, right? Feelings are so important when we're having a conversation, when we're making friends. It's important for us to figure out how we're feeling so that we know how to interact with other people and how other people are feeling too. How do we make other people feel? How can we make other people feel better if they're not feeling so good? Or how can we keep them feeling happy if they're already feeling happy, right? We wanna, oh, did you guys hear that? I use the kindergarten word. I should use a first grade word. Hmm, we wanna keep people feeling excited if they're coming over excited to play with you, right? We wanna match that feeling and we wanna make sure we're excited too. Um, maybe if they're feeling proud of something, we wanna make sure that we are understanding that they're showing us something that they're proud of and we should support them and we know how to react to that when they're coming up to us feeling that way, right? All right, so there are our superhero social skills. There are superpowers that we've been learning all about. And now I want to remind you of how we have a conversation because that's what we're learning all about, right? How to interact with people so that we can make friends and we can have fun on the playground and talk to our family at home. All these important things for how to have conversations with people. So the first thing we do is we start with a greeting, right? We start with something like, hi, or hello, or if it's first thing in the morning, what do me and Miss G always say to you when we see you? Oh, good morning, right? We wanna greet people. You wanna start the conversation by looking at them with your eyes, and usually your whole body too. Remember, we have to have whole body listening. And then we greet them, and we just say something short and sweet. Hi, good morning, hello, something like that, right? The next thing we do is we usually ask, a uh, question. Do you guys remember? We were using these during our videos and we were watching some videos about some other kids having questions and then after somebody asks a question it usually is replied with a comment, right? And that's how we take turns in a conversation. It goes back and forth and back and forth with questions and comments. Do you guys remember that game we were playing? First we were sitting at the table and then I let you guys stand up and we were tossing a ball back and forth, right? And we were asking a question. Every time we tossed the ball, we had to ask a question to somebody and then they would answer it and they would ask a question back to us. And that's how we keep the conversation going, back and forth by asking questions and then answering them. But remember that one thing I always say, remember to stay on topic, yeah? Every conversation we have should stay on topic. Because if you start talking about something that's uh, maybe on one topic and then you start talking about something totally different, what's my face gonna do? I'm gonna get so confused. That's really confusing for people. We wanna stay on topic so that people can follow the conversation. And then we can start talking about something else that might be a different topic once that first conversation is over, right? All right, you guys, that's good enough for today. We'll be back tomorrow and we'll learn about something totally new and totally exciting, okay?
All right, see you soon.